Hello everyone, how you all doing? I hope you're well. Now hopefully you get to see this video, you should do. It's my third attempt, uh, my last two, copyrighted, had to remove them. Um, yeah, I started off with a little intro playing Michael Jackson's music, I think the first one played about seven seconds worth of Beat It, instant copyright, second one played about seven or ten seconds worth of Thriller. Uh, instant copyright, uh, basically banned from most places in the world. I mean, it, it said it was a partial blocking, but on both, but it weren't. It was a blocking everywhere because it didn't get a single view either of them after. So I just just deleted them. I thought I'd do it again, but yeah, unfortunately, can't play an intro this time. Uh, I suppose I could have hummed you a bit of Thriller or sang you some, but yeah, you really don't want to hear that. Trust me. So yeah, let's make a start. A few little facts for you. Uh, some that I just found out. Yeah, I knew this was the biggest selling album of all time. I, I knew it was around 70 million copies sold, depending on where you get your sources. Say so it's actually between 50 and 70. Um, I didn't know this. In America, it's the second biggest selling album of all time. Uh, in number one spot is The Eagles. Or is it just Eagles? I don't know. I never heard that album, to be honest. And I could only name you one off the top of my head, Hotel California. So yeah, I didn't realise the Eagles were that, that big of a deal over there. Um, over here in the UK, uh, Thriller is the sixth biggest album of all time. Just, I think it's just behind, it's about a few hundred thousand copies, just behind Oasis, uh, What's the Story, Morning Glory. I think in fourth place is Adele, 21. Um, the top three, I can't remember which positions they are, but it's Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Uh, then, um, oh, what they call ABBA. Yeah, sorry, ABBA. Sorry to any ABBA fans. I <laughs> forgot the name. Gold. It's the uh, that Greatest Hits compilation album. And number one since 2016, because it was, Oasis did have the uh, biggest selling UK album of all time, but it's, let's say it's dropped down a few places now. That was number one. But yeah, from 2016, it has been Queen, Queen's Greatest Hits. Uh, I suppose no surprise there, really. I'm not sure how many albums that sold here, maybe about six or seven million, I think. Which is pretty good, you know, because we're only a small country. Um, so yeah, let's start with this. It's my first time owning the Thriller album on any format. Like, so when it released in 92, I was far too young to be a fan of Michael Jackson. I was far too young to be a fan of anything, really. It wasn't until 87, 88, you know, with the uh, release of the Bad album that I became a fan. I, was, I mean, it was huge, wasn't it? I remember... All those lads in school trying to emulate him, you know, copy him, doing his dance moves, singing the songs. And, uh, yeah, those were the first times we'd actually got to see his videos as well. We didn't have MTV here until mid-97. So, like, say anything from the Thriller album, you, you didn't really get to see the videos here unless you had the VHS. Uh, cue a little story here. Uh, back in 97, uh, an old buddy of mine, he just his mum had just bought him the uh, Nintendo, the NES. And he asked me if I wanted to go play it after school. He says, mum's going to do some tea. He said, afterwards, I'll show you the Thriller video. Now, you won't I'll believe how stoked I was to see that. I was more excited to see that than play the, <laughs> play the Nintendo. And I love the Nintendo. So, yeah, anyway, played a bit of Nintendo after we'd had tea. He put the video on and it went like the video taped off a of TV. It was the actual release, what they put on VHS. And it was amazing. It blew my tiny mind. It really did. I think to this day, I've still never seen a video quite like it. I'm sure it was the most expensive video filmed in the 80s as well. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure it was like a million dollars, something like that. I think Michael still owns owns the uh, the record for the most expensive music video. That's one he did with his sister uh, Janet, wasn't it? In uh, the mid nineties, uh, I do remember that video, but oh, I'm sure it's dated now. Uh, I didn't really like it back then. If I'm being honest, a waste of money, if you ask me, because 
the single wouldn't have made the money back i don't think what it cost uh, to make the video but it was made of money back then so i suppose it didn't really matter how much you spent did it so yeah like oh sorry i don't want to get that glare it's a bit dull outside it's been raining so i've got the uh i've got the old uh well, I'm having a brain fart, what am I trying to think of? Flash! Flash on the camera, yeah, the flash is on. So yeah, I hope it's not too dull for you. But yeah, I still don't want to get the glare on this cassette. So yeah, my first time owning it ever, like I say, on any format. And just look at it, it's almost a perfect album. Look at the songs on there. Want to be starting something. Baby Be Mine. The Girl Is Mine, Thriller, Beat It. That's my favourite song. Uh, my favourite song from the album, not sure if it's my favourite ever Michael Jackson song, that's probably, uh, that might be bad actually. Um, Billie Jean, Human Nature, Pretty Young Thing, The Lady in My Life, well, I'd say pretty much the perfect album, I'd give it 9 out of 10. Um, my album still, my number one eighties album anyway would be Def Leppard's pyromania i think that is pretty much the perfect album i'd give that 10 out of 10 so have a look at the cassette here i say 42 years old it's in uh, great condition still see all the print is still on there which is a uh, oh, focus we're gonna focus i don't think it wants to but yeah all the writing is in there on there all the print which is a must when i buy a cassette I know it don't really matter, but it, it does to me. I still like to uh, <laughs> read what's on the cassette. Like I say, for 42 uh, years old, it's in great condition. And it plays uh, beautifully as well. When you get these cassettes, what, like 40 years old, you know, you play some tracks on them and they can play a little slow. Um, like I say, I bought a few albums and you, you can play the first half, everything's fine. You, turn it over and the first song you play would be a little slow but not this thriller album and it, it's surprising i thought there's no way every song on here is going to play mint but it does you would have thought whoever owned this album back in the day would have overplayed it i mean it's michael jackson thriller right you think they would have played it 24 7 and i weren't expecting it to be in great condition but yeah like i say it plays beautifully so yeah, that's about it. I don't want to bore you too much with uh, stories or facts or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're watching this, you're obviously a Michael Jackson fan and you know everything. You probably know more about Michael Jackson than I do. It's a guarantee. So yeah, I don't want to bore you too much. I just wanted to share my latest pickup, that's all. Uh, next video will be uh, Jane Wheeling's album, what you see here, a bit blurry in the background. I bought that uh, basically just because it has my one of my favourite pop songs of the 80s on it. So yeah, stay tuned for that if you want. Uh, that's coming in about a week's time. So yeah, if you made it this far, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.